Peace family, welcome to the Third World Global News Network. I'm your humble host and servant, Nat Turner, and this is The Real Shit Show, brought to you by Family First Films. What we do here basically is we break down the news and we take that political bullshit spin off of it and give it to the people, give it to them raw, exactly what they're supposed to have. So number one, what we were dealing with our last show, which came out last month, was the Dakota Access Pipeline. Criminals! You guys are criminals! At some point, I'm sure the media is giving it a little bit of attention. What's going on is you have the Stand, um, the Stand and Rock tribe who basically have a, um, um, some sovereign land and you have an oil company, Energy Transfer Partners, who wants to run a pipeline underneath their water reservoir and underneath their lakes. And y'all know what the fuck happens when somebody runs a pipeline underneath waters and lakes. The pipeline starts to bust, chemicals get inside the water, next thing you know, Flint, Michigan. Um, I don't know if you've seen the series that came on HBO where these people were um, turning on their faucets and putting a match to it in the fire. Fire. Gas. gas land. Gas land. There you go. Gas land. Fire. So um, I'm sure the Indian, the, um, the Santa Rock tribe is probably trying to avoid that particular type of incident right there. So um, you got this guy, Kelsey Warren. Described by Bloomberg as among America's new shale tycoons, Warren is personally worth $4 billion. He's become a major donor to the Republican Party. This dude is a uh, GOP, um, a Republican GOP funder. He sponsors um, um, different political candidates. He sponsored um, Paul Ryan. He put $500,000 into um, Rick Perry's campaign. That's the governor of Texas, in case y'all forgot. He, um, he actually gets his, um, got a lot, of, a lot of his contracts and things to a man named Fred Upton, who happened to be... Yeah. There they go. There they go. back, y'all. Y'all got a partner, us, man. That was the sea cyphers out there, man. It's your hard tax dollars at work doing some bullshit right now, chasing down some innocent-ass black man out there. But nevertheless, so what happens is, this dude sponsored, uh, this dude, Kelsey Warren, who we were talking about, the Texas billionaire that owns the Energy Transfer Partners, which is the oil company, or the, uh, the oil company's trying to run the pipeline. He sues the Standard Rock tribe. And um, the Standard Rock tribe loses in court. Department of Justice then comes out like a couple of hours later and says, listen, he tells the, the energy partner, they tell the energy partner transfers to stand down. Stand down, don't, don't move the pipeline right now, leave everything where it is, we gotta get everything resolved. The dude's like, hell with that, I'm gonna do what the hell I wanna do. So he waited about a week, then he went back out there and did what he wanted to do. And that's what y'all see right now. That's the result that you're starting to see on TV now, because they couldn't keep hiding it. They've been trying to hide it, this thing's been going on. First of all, the thing's been going on for about two years right now. But right now, it, it, it's at a boiling point, so they couldn't keep hiding it. So what you've seen the other day is like 200 arrests, people get tear gas, shot down with rubber bullets. Water, you know, the water protectors, that's what we're doing right here. And uh, all this you see right here is just uh, that, that we need to stop it, you know? It's just sovereign people's now. Right here. So. Oh! Who the fuck is that? Okay. Okay. Shot down with rubber bullets, eaten up with dogs, drones flying, taking pictures of people. They was using sound cannons. Sound cannons. That's military, military grade weapons. Sound cannons. Psychological okay. warfare. There you go. Psychological warfare. So what they doing is a, a, a sound cannon. What it does is it, it, it shuts down your effort to understand. Um, it's, it's an acoustic device. It shuts down your effort to, to, to comprehend things naturally the way you're supposed to. It's nothing new. They used it in in Nicaragua to get. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, uh, that was no. That was um. They they used it in Panama. Noriega. Yeah, to Panama. Get Nor to get, get Noriega. Noriega out. Absolutely. Waco, Texas. Absolutely. Waco to actual fact. You must not interfere with vehicular traffic. If you do, you'll be placed. <laughs> That, that's going to be the next civil rights issue of our time. So just look forward to that. I just want y'all to keep your eyes on that. Um, before I move any further, I just want to let y'all know, shout out, shout out to the brother Akeem Browder and his effort, Akeem Browder, I'm sorry, Akeem Browder and his effort to get Rikers Island shut down. Listen, y'all don't know brothers and sisters out there doing work like that for the community. He's trying to get them shut down for the abuses, the human rights abuses, um, the abuses from, from guards, um, the abuses from inmates upon one another. Listen, it's it's unhumane, it's inhumane, the way that these people have to live, the way that this, this, this whole uh, penal system is all set up. But with specific reference to Rikers Island. So shout out to Akeem Browder, make sure that you Google him, all right? The next topic at hand, y'all, is Trump and Hillary, man. You know you can't get around that, man. Two of the stupidest motherfuckers it is, man, is running for the highest, the highest position in the damn world to be the ruler of the free world. It, this is this is so volatile and 
dangerous, man. This, this ain't even a joke, y'all. This ain't even a joke. So all of, all of us seen the debates. The last debate is when they finally decided to present their, uh, their economic plan of peace. Now, I don't know if y'all, if y'all were paying attention to that, but listen, really quick in a nutshell. When corporations leave this country and they go to other countries, but the reason they do that is they, they repatriate in other countries. They nationalize their corporation in another country so they're no longer a United States corporation. The reason they do that is so that they can avoid paying taxes. And that's what's known as a tax shelter. The whole process of what's happening is what's called an inversion. All right. So what happens is, now what Trump wants to do is repat, and all of this, and let me just say this, y'all, all of this happened because of the North Atlantic Free Trade Agreement. That's the NAFTA thing that you keep hearing that was passed under Bill Clinton and the Hillary Clinton champion. NAFTA, free trade, that's what took all the jobs up out of here and allowed the companies to run, run in whatever countries and pay niggas 10 cents, a, 10 cents an hour. NAFTA is the worst trade deal maybe ever signed anywhere, but certainly ever signed in this country. And now you want to approve Trans-Pacific Partnership. All right. What Trump wants to do is repatriate these companies and bring them back into America, right? At least that's what he's saying he want to do. Here's the, tr here's, the, here's the trick part that he's fooling you about. He said, I'm going to bring these companies back. There's going to be so many jobs. And the reason they're going to want to come back is because I'm going to knock down the taxes by 15, 20 percent. I'll be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. Let me explain something to you. The corporate tax rate is almost at about, what, like 40 percent or something like that. He's going to knock them down about 25 percent, get, get them paying 15 percent of taxes, right? That's still not going to make up for the revenue that they make in these other countries. Think about this. These same companies in these other countries sell us and everybody else around the world all their product. Only difference is they sell it, they don't got to pay no taxes. All right, they pay the, com the country's taxes probably, what, 8% on whatever they make it. So they ain't paying no taxes. Then the, their workers, they're paying their workers 10 cents an hour, 20 cents an hour. This is real shit, y'all. 20 cents an hour. So if Trump repatriates those jobs back here into America, what do you think their first excuse is going to be? We can't afford to pay the American worker more than $7 an hour. We have, we have to bring back our jobs, Chris. We have to do it. We have no choice. I hear you, but the question becomes how. You know, in the scenario you just pointed well, out, you have look, Ford saying it's I, I cheaper over you. there and you're going to punish okay. the consumer. Think about it, because that would be cutting into their revenue at that point. So we already know that economic plan ain't going to work. Now, the Hillary economic plan. She just ran the same shit that our beloved brother Barack Obama, my brother, but our beloved brother Barack Obama, the same bullshit he ran. When he stated, oh, when she, when they both said, well, we're going to do it to get the rich to pay their fair share. Wall Street, corporations, and the super rich are going to start paying their fair share of taxes. And law, and Hillary Clinton's a former um, lawyer and a prosecutor, and law, there's two words that compel people to do things. That's must and shall. If you ever see those two words in a legal document, any affidavit, that means you got to do it, brother. That ain't like maybe if you feel like or no, it means you have to. So what she's letting you know is she ain't putting no pressure on these on these um, rich companies and rich corporations, multinational corporations that consequently fund her right now. Okay? She's not gonna put any pressure on them to, to pay their fair share of taxes. Why would she do that? Why would she? Where her bread gonna come from after that? You think she could walk into George Soros' office and force him to pay to pay the more on, on the taxes that he don't feel like paying when he's the one paying her to get out here? If I made a billion dollars a day, you don't deserve to take 60% of my Boy, income. if you Period. feel this angry, if you feel this angry, how do you think middle class Americans feel? Listen, like I said before, Hillary Clinton has the establishment behind her. We all know who's going to win this, um, this, this uh, political race. Let's stop playing. Let's stop acting naive, all right? Hillary Clinton has the banks, the industry, defense contractors, the media, foreign money, foreign government. She got all of that behind her. They're all united behind her and not behind Trump. So I don't give a shit if Trump got a million point five votes and she only got 57,000. Guess who gonna win? Let's stop playing. Now, taxes is very important, but we'll get to that in the next show.